this video, we'll see how we track performance before and after deployments using deployment markers. Looking at an application that was misbehaving, we can see a spike on the transaction time, but we can also see gray lines on the graphs. These are deployment markers. Let's zoom in on the time frame. We can hover above the gray lines and see what happened. It looks like somebody tried to optimize a database query. Obviously, that backfired. And they rolled it back. Note that the text says related deployment to planned service. So the deployment did not happen to the portal service. It happened to a service that's one hop away, a planned service. Looking at the application activity, we can see the critical and warning violations, as well as the related deployments and deployment to web portal. We can change the filters on application activity and also drill down to the plan service. So the story is kind of simple. We had a service that was slow to respond. We had a user who tried to fix the database calls and the fix backfired. The user tried to apply a hotfix and then ended up rolling things back. We can also see the deployments and the violations on the right side in the application activity. We can have a quick look at the database calls to see what happened. Query time has improved but we ended up having tens of thousands of database calls. That was definitely not a good fix. To start using deployment markers, please refer to the documentation. You can follow the integrations for Jenkins, for example, or use the REST API, or follow the instructions for the different agents. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much for your time.